trying to do here today is we're trying to start our documentary here. Mm -hmm. And we are, because uh, that's what we do is we also do documentaries. So we're trying to get as much evidence as we can and different things. We're going to come out here a couple times throughout the season and try okay. to do what we can. Please come forward. are here with us at this time. One time it was Potawatomi tribe and before uh, the Aberdeens and the Fultons came out this way uh, there was there was uh, Native Americans who lived here. So some of the things that might be said might not be English. Like what we were just talking about is because they came from the majority came from Germany, it sounded like a lady was talking in German when we first started up. What is your name, please? My name's Neil, what is yours? The Madonna of Bachelors Grove, what is your name? by possession is that is that back in the 1950s what happened here was is that um, people would see blue orbs of light inside the cemetery area okay and so people would get infatuated with coming out here and but when the 1960s and 70s happened they started coming out here with witch boards and this and that doing cult uh, activity digging up some of these graves here but what happens is is that um, it gets into the forms of possession. So you get an infestation of people coming out here. And what they do is think of it like this. Think about it like insects, okay, on a piece of wood. You're getting inside there infesting that area. So it starts with infestation. And then all of a sudden you then go into an oppression and then obsession. People start oppressing the land around here because they're opening up activity inside here, opening up portals that probably they should not open. And they're probably not closing them. So then it goes through that, and then it leads into the oppression of session, and that's kind of like a weird possession that goes on here. Now, what we get sometimes is we get these words in reverse, and we call them mirror So what we do is we take these things and put it inside our audacity program, and kind of like, you know, like back in the day when you used to have records and stuff. Is there anything specifically you'd like to say to the people here today? 